and welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm going to be visiting one of the little free libraries by my house for the first time. So I thought I would make it an annual tradition to give away all of the books that I rated two and a half stars and less. Just because as you can see there is literally no room on my bookshelf for any more books and I want to make sure that the books that are on my bookshelf are books that I would like to reread in the future and just be able to look back on fondly. Anyways, before I head over to the Little Free Library, I wanted to share with you guys the books that I did rate two and a half stars or less. And I do want to say that even though I did not enjoy these books, that does not mean that someone else will. And I think that that is actually one of the most beautiful things about books is that while one person could totally love it, another person can totally hate it. So it honestly goes to show how much of an impact books have on people. I'm pulling out my Notion reading log just so that I can get a refresher on the reviews I gave these books. So the first book is called Mistletoe and Mr. Wright. So with this book, the first line started off really strong and I really thought I was going to like it but then it went downhill from there. The plot was just all over the place to where even with the ending I just felt like the book was just not tied together really well and I unfortunately didn't connect with any of the characters and there was one scene that had like squirrels and just it was really weird. This book just did not do it for me and I rated it 2.5 stars. These next two books, We Met in December and The 12 Dates of Christmas were both DNF books, so I'm not going to go too much into detail about these because I honestly don't know much about them. However, I do know that I had read about 30 to 50 pages of each and I just was like, these are not the books for me. <laughs> And I've been trying to get better at DNFing books, so I'm actually very proud of myself for not finishing both of these. This next book is called You. Some of y'all may know this book from the popular Netflix show, which I actually really, really loved, which is why I thought that I would love this book as well. However, this book made me sick to my stomach it was so descriptive and gross and just... <laughs> I did finish this book though, but I think that I should have do not finished it because I really put myself through a hard time reading this one. <laughs> this next one is called Talk Bookish to Me and I rated it two and a half stars. I thought I was going to really enjoy it, but it ended up falling flat. And to top it off, there is a certain situation that happens that I'm not going to say in fear of spoiling it, but as soon as it happened, I just was like, nope, this is not for me. And from then on, I just had less sympathy for the characters and I just ended up not liking it. <laughs> this next book is another one that I DNF'd. It is called Too Good To Be Real. I actually got through a lot of this book before I decided to DNF it. There was a specific scene that made me DNF the book and it's crazy because it literally happened so suddenly and I just was like, nope, closing the book, not doing it anymore. <laughs> I was like, that is it for me. This next book is called The Paris Connection. I rated it two stars. And honestly, speaking of DNFing, I should have not finished this one. I wanted to love this one because I am totally obsessed with France and I really enjoy reading about Paris. However, this book was just hard to enjoy because I hated every single character. <laughs> 
The only good thing that came out of this book though was that there were a lot of very pretty and cool places mentioned in France that I ended up writing down so that when I do get the chance to go to France, I will get to check out all of these cool cities. Okay, this next book is a bookstagram favorite, so I apologize in advance for my negative thoughts about this one. I ended up rating it two and a half stars because I did think that some parts of it were entertaining and enjoyable, but for me, the pacing was very slow, and I actually loved Dominic, the love interest, in the beginning of the book, but then towards the end, he just did something that I was just like, why? Like, he was so great. Why would, why would you write that? So after that, it just further confirmed that this book was just not for me, and although a lot of people do like it, I just, it just didn't sit well. <laughs> this next book is called Simmer Down and I rated it two and a half stars. I will say this book is very, 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 very spicy. And I did not expect that at all. <laughs> so if you like spicy books, then I would recommend this one just because it has a lot of it. However, I just did not like the writing style and I thought it was very childish and immature and I might have enjoyed this book back in college, but just now as a 25 year old, it just didn't do it for me. <laughs> The next book is called Windy Darling, and it was actually my last book of 2021, and I was so sad to end the year on such a disappointing book. This book was very dark. There should be about like 10 trigger warnings for it. I knew going into it that it would be a darker retelling of Peter Pan, but I guess I just didn't expect it to be this dark. <laughs> I think it was a very well written and actually beautifully written book, but I just don't like to think of Disney as dark. <laughs> and Peter Pan is actually in my top three Disney movies and this book kind of ruined it for me. So I was very sad about that. This next book is called That Summer and it holds a special spot because it is the first book that I genuinely did not like. I went into this book thinking that it was going to be a very lighthearted summer romance. However, I was very wrong. I am going to put out a trigger warning for this one. Unfortunately, I can't say what it is because that would spoil the book. <laughs> However, if you were on the fence about books with trigger warnings, I definitely would say not to read this one. It is very, very heavy and honestly not worth the read if you are looking to have a fun and happy summer. <laughs> The Holiday Swap is actually a funny one because I had posted a story about this book at the complete wrong time. So this book was chosen for Book of the Month and a lot of Bookstagram friends had ordered it in their boxes and I had just put out a story talking about how much I hated this book and I just completely created chaos on Bookstagram because everyone was so sad that they had just ordered this in book of the month and I was just raving about how much I hated it and I was like, wow, this could not have come at a more horrible time and I am very sorry. So to go into more detail about why I didn't like the book, I thought it was very promising because it reminded me of The Princess Witch, which is one of my favorite Netflix Christmas movies. However, the plot was just so unbelievable and not in like that cheesy rom-com type way. It was unbelievable in just a rolling your eyes, I can't believe this is happening type way. The characters were also very unlikable. I feel like I hated every single one and was so confused because I was questioning if the author intended for us to just truly hate all of the characters or if it was just 
a mistake in writing. I don't know. <laughs> but this book, I was really struggling to get through. And honestly, I should have DNF'd it, but I pushed through and I just did not like it whatsoever. <laughs> The last book is called The Bromance Book Club, and this is actually another Bookstagram favorite that I unfortunately really, really, really did not like. I actually went on my Instagram stories to specifically talk about how the author portrayed a certain group in this book, and that group is called the WAGS, which stands for Wives and Girlfriends, and that's just basically a group of women that are married or dating professional athletes. The reason why I know so much about that group is because I was in it for a period of time. I dated a minor league baseball player and I have met so many amazing friends through that group. But the author portrayed the WAGs as very shallow women who are gold diggers. And I was just so astonished at the fact that she had portrayed these women in such a negative way when she honestly could not have been more wrong because like I said, the girls that I've met through that group are honestly some of the most supportive and kind and just truly caring people I've ever met. I was just so upset to see her talking so badly about them. Okay, so those are all the books that I'm going to be giving away to the little free library near my house. And like I said before, just because I didn't like these books doesn't mean someone else won't. So I hope that these books eventually find a good home and I am super excited to make an annual tradition out of this. Okay, so I ended up having to stop recording because it started raining like crazy and there was no way I would be able to bring books to a little free library when it was downpouring. So that is why I am in a complete change of clothes because it is another day. It actually rained earlier today, but it looks like the sun is gonna stay out for a couple of hours, so I should have enough time to deliver these books. And then to find the little free libraries, I just pulled up my town's website and found them through there. I'm sure that you could also pull up the little free libraries official website and find your locations on that as well. But for me, I just thought it was easier to pull up my town's website. Okay, quick update. I did not realize how hard it was to find these little free libraries. I swear I was driving around for about an hour at the first little free library because I could not find it anywhere. I don't know if anyone else has ever had this problem trying to find one, but I did. <laughs> I actually didn't even find the second free library that I was planning to go to. It had said that it was behind City Hall, but it was not. <laughs> and I literally walked around for about 30 minutes, did not find it. <laughs> I swear to God, it does not exist. Anyways, I am sitting in the parking lot for the next one. This one is actually in the city that I do live in. So I kind of live in a sub city of a bigger city, if that makes sense. And I figured that I would check out the bigger city first because I thought that they might have more little free libraries. Turns out I was wrong because I just pulled up to the one in my city and I found it in two seconds. Anyways, I am about to walk up to this one and then hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be able to find the other one here in my city. So we shall see.
Okay, I have officially finished donating all of the books. The second little free library in my city was not hard to find at all. It was actually in the middle of a very pretty and fun children's park in the area right down the street from my house. And also it is right next to the dog park that I bring my dogs to when it is nice outside. So that's very convenient that I know exactly where that little free library is. Regardless of me not being able to find a couple of the little free libraries, that was very fun and I cannot wait to make this an annual thing. I'm feeling very excited for the people that take the books and hopefully love them. I know that I didn't, but like I said before, that does not mean that someone else won't too. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope to do more stuff like this in the future, but for now, see you guys next time.